Well, she's back, and she's busier than ever. Susan, I am <laughs> so glad you could come by and bring us your new yes! book. There. I'm delighted to be here, and that arrived right before I walked out the door How to come see you. I know. For you. I know. I've been watching uh, as this all has kind of transpired in the past few months. So let's yeah. talk about the book itself and then the process of getting this in your hands. Oh my gosh. So I have been, it took me a couple of years to write the book, and it's based on a process that I developed after working with thousands of women over the past decade. I started out coaching women on weight loss, and what I discovered is that I can help anyone lose weight, but it's the deeper meaning and the dip, deeper issue as to what else needs to happen in your life. Like, you really don't need more willpower, you need more pleasure. And we hear that so often. I mean, mm -hmm. all of my life, I've, I've lost, enough, lost and gained enough weight to be 27 people at least. <laughs> but it's that, oh, if I just had more willpower, more discipline, right. or deprive myself yes. of things. So, I mean, I've heard you talk about this before, but talk yeah. about that uh, non-sustainability of having right. this diet. Well, it's not sustainable. I mean, I'm 45 years old, and by the time a woman is my age, she's dieted on average 31 years of her life. I've been there. You're and, Same. I, and I'm, and I'm Same. a lot older than that, so I've been going a few more generations. <laughs> right, and can you imagine if girls and women weren't focused on shrinking themselves and dieting and depriving themselves and were focused on love and pleasure and expanding their lives, the difference we would have even in our own country. Well, you, you know, you have uh, lost and gained weight and yeah. you, know, you really have shared your struggle with everyone. Yeah. How, what is, what are, what are a couple of the tips that you can share without giving away your whole book? What are some of the important things we need to shift in our thinking? Well, your thinking is the biggest thing to shift. And so what I want everyone to do today is eavesdrop on themselves. And anytime you hear yourself saying something mean to yourself, you need to replace that with something positive. Positive. Congratulate yourself on what you've accomplished through the day because I guarantee you by the time you got and sat on this couch, you did a million things right. And the other thing is that this is really about the invisible workload of women. We are the keepers typically of all the things in our household, at the office. We're the ones really multitasking to the point of exhaustion. And so pleasure is such a focus in this book I want women getting the sleep they deserve, the front burner they deserve, the downtime they deserve, and that starts with putting a lot of other people in your house to work. That sounds like a real good parenting plan, doesn't it? Yes. And all those kids, they yeah. got a job now. Well, yeah, and I see, I see that you put that in practice at your own house, too. Now, you have a book signing coming up. I do have a book signing coming up. Saturday, February 16th at 20 West in Newburgh. You can go to my website, letsgetbear.com for details, but we'll, I'll be signing books. Gina Moore is going to be singing, who's oh, right here oh, in, there. Um, right in there. studio, and uh, champagne. It's going to be an amazing time. And then you go from there to what, Chicago? I go to Chicago, then New York, um, Seattle, Portland, L.A. That's so exciting for it's you, Susan. It's very exciting. I, I think yeah. it's great. And what do you... What do you see on the horizon as this book uh, makes it out into the hands of the public? Is this going to be workshops or what are you going to do with this? Absolutely. So I certify coaches in the BEAR methodology. So if you want to become a life coach, hit me up. I also um, have book club study guides for people who want to have their book clubs read the book and get together. Absolutely workshops. And there's also an online community called BEAR Daily where no matter where you live, you can get coached by some of my BEAR coaches. All right. We need to get this in our hands. Yep. Amazon? Amazon. All right. Susan Hyatt, she's got a hit on her hands. Thanks for being here. Thank you. When we come back, big celebration for Evansville Montessori with the Montessori. <laughs> We're going to find out all about it.